Now millions of people around the world desire well-paying jobs so that they can live comfortable lives. In the developed world, getting jobs can be relatively easy, but in many African countries, unemployment remains high, especially among the youth. About 60% of them are unemployed across the continent, and critics say education systems are partly to blame. CGTN's Yoli Sanjamela reports on how South Africa is trying to address that problem through vocational training schools. The South African education system continues to navigate a colonial past within the context of global shifts and social changes. Critics argue that the current education system focuses more on theoretical learning, which is aimed at helping learners secure the limited white-collar job opportunities. They further argue that this system does not equip graduates with technical and vocational skills that could help them become self-employed. But South Africa is trying to ensure its education system has evolved with the changing times. This institution in Johannesburg is one of many technical and vocational education and training institutions, or TIVETs, introduced by the government over a decade ago. It's meant to ensure that young people receive practical skills that will help them get jobs right after studying here. When you come here, we make sure that we enrich this youth of South Africa with skills. Uh, for an example, we have level two, level uh, three and four NCV. While you complete a level four, you go to the outside world. You can compete with uh, uh, the working environment, with the, uh, the world outside. You can even open your, your own company. The advantage is that as they exit or as they graduate from TVET institutions, chances are that they'll be easily employed by the industry. Chances are that they will be able to start their own businesses. Many of these young people were once keen to go to universities, even though it's been proven that TVETs increase their chances of getting jobs. My plan was basically to do electrical engineering, but unfortunately I couldn't do it as I, could, I couldn't qualify to go to varsity. So I'd never had plans, so I took a gap year and I was advised that, okay, there's a, a college called ATWC, which I can actually enroll in. When I was coming here, I was a bit skeptic, but first year, I um, started learning a new things. I do um, house wiring. I can do house wiring. I can work on transformers. I do fault findings, lights, and everything related to electricity. Well, I wanted to change the stigma of electricity is for men only. As women, can, we can do it better. So since then, I knew that electricity, the university is nice, but they don't give us the information we get here. Here, we are he all hands on, it's put on the ground. Yeah, so I'm happy where I am. These institutions have changed the way education was conducted in colonial times. Before democracy, it was a, a white territory. In other words, uh, most of the students were whites. It was not easy for blacks to come and enroll in Tibet institutions, but the picture post on democracy, the picture has changed. We've got a high intake of black students. There are currently over 50 TVET institutions in South Africa. Yuri Sanjabala for CGTN in Katlehong, Johannesburg, South Africa.